Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and for those of you that don't know me, I am 51 years old. I've been a professional makeup artist for over 25 years and a licensed hairstylist. And I also show a little bit of fashion here on my channel. I find that it's really hard to find clothes for my age and my size that still look fun. Is that mean to say? So anyway, that's what my channel is about. But today it's all about makeup. I'm going to show you how I got this look. I've used a few new products, new to me anyways. I use the MAC Shadow Palette. This is called the Connecting Color Palette. I have the very popular Givenchy Powder. So I hope you stick with me to see how I got this look. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, share with all your friends, and let's get on with the tutorial. Every time I blow dry my hair, I go through a hot flash. Holy cow. I've got so many products here in front of me. I have Dior, I have Estee Lauder, I have Shiseido, I have Bobbi Brown, L'Oreal, everything, and I also have Saint. So you're going to see a mix of Saint in my makeup sometimes. I am a rep, so if you ever need anything, if you need a color match, please contact me and I'll give you recommendations of what you might need. But I'm a genuine makeup lover and I've been a makeup artist for over 25 years, so I will never stop playing and using other products. I'm just going to mix it up as best I can. I don't ever want you to feel like you're being sold to. That is my biggest fear I think so I'm gonna show you what I use I'm gonna play as I normally would during the day and hopefully with me playing that will give you ideas of what you might like for reference I have a normal to dry skin I really look after it so it's more normal but if I didn't look after it it would be very dry I self tan my skin all the time and that is what brings all of my hyperpigmentation out if I didn't self tan I wouldn't have those come out as strong but I like my self tan. I feel like when I have a little color to my face, my eyes look bluer, my teeth look whiter. I feel like I look healthier. It even in my eyes blends my wrinkles a little bit more and that's why I do it. So I choose to do that and then hopefully camouflage those areas. Somebody on another video suggested that I use mango to cover these up and I'm gonna do that today. I think I have mango. Let me see, I bought the kit and I'm pretty sure that mango came in it. Now I need my glasses. Yeah. I got it right here. So that's mango. So I'm gonna try that on these spots to color correct, and then we'll go from there. All my good brushes that I use all the time, I just washed them, so I have a lot of brushes. My skin is already prepped with moisturizer. I didn't use a primer. Maybe I should. Mm. Do you know what I have been using lately and I love, and I showed it in my very quick video the other day? It's the Dr. Jart BB Cream. It has sunscreen in it. It has an SPF of 40. I'm gonna try it and see what it feels like under this makeup. So because this is a BB cream. It goes on quite warm. I was scared at first. Once I blended it all in, it matched the rest of my body perfectly. I put it right close to my eyes and I didn't get any stinging. Have you ever had that happen? I remember one time I was in Florida and we were walking the beach. This is when I was a teenager and my eyes were crying so bad. I just wanted to go home, but that's what it was. I got sunscreen in my eyes. This didn't bother me. And look, that's so fresh. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes so that it's not too slippery and I'll go from there. I got new eyeshadows to play with. I'm so excited. Oh, and I got the new Dior blushes. While I'm letting this sit, let me show you what I got. MAC Cosmetics was the first brand I ever knew. I was a small town girl. So the only makeup we really had was at the drugstore and at Sears. How old was I when I saw MAC Cosmetics? And the first one that I bought was a black and I lived in this small town. I couldn't wait to use it and I used it. I didn't care. So I got this. I got it from Sephora and it looked oh, like that's really pretty. The packaging's so beautiful, but what I really care about is what's inside. And I feel like these are gonna be the classic colors that I go to all the time. I have a ton of MAC shadows, but they're old and I wanted to replace them. I really need my glasses. Okay, Satin Taupe is in here. That's one of my favorites. Wedge is another one. You see me struggling. I am too lazy to go get my glasses. Plus, I don't want to leave a glasses mark on my nose. Cozy Gray. I gotta figure this out. Let me swatch them for you. I need my daughter's young arm to swatch on. This one is Wedge. This one is Dial Up the Gold. Let me put that on a little bit better for you. So that looks like more of a topper. And then we've got Satin Taupe, which I do know. I love that one. And then we've got Cozy Gray. This one was huge when I worked at MAC. This is uninterrupted. They used to call it like a baby poop color. This one is Hidden Album. This one is Les Artistes. Send Neutrals is that one. It'll be great all over color underneath the brow bone. This one's called Sonic Chocolate, yum. I haven't looked at MAC shadows in a while, so I don't recognize these names. This one's called Internet Star, Accept Cookies. And then this one is definitely a matte. 
This one's called Give Me Cyberspace. I think it's a perfect everyday palette, so let's see how it performs. I feel like this is pretty slippery, actually. I put it on right after I put my moisturizer on. That's a no-no, I should know better. So I'm gonna go ahead with my eye makeup let this sit and if i have to pat some off actually maybe that's what i'll have to do i'm gonna separate my tissue and i'm gonna pat it on my face try to take some of that excess slip off i don't want this makeup moving after i work so hard on it that already feels better i'm gonna start with wedge first and blend that right around the crease and pull it down actually My eye looks are never gonna be that complicated. I've done complicated eye looks in the past, but I'm 51 years old and I just, I want my eyes to look pretty. I wanna play with makeup, but you know, I also don't wanna get stared at when I go out. And it's not for that really, it's just my personal taste is more natural. And my personal taste is easy. I think that's where a lot of women get stuck is that they think that they have to know all these different techniques for eyeshadow and it really doesn't have to be complicated. This is a fluffy brush. I've got one color and if I, well, I'll show you. So there's one color. Then if I change my brush to a more detailed fluffy brush into the exact same color, because it's smaller and a little bit shorter and stiffer, I'll get more deposit. You see, you don't need a whole collection unless you just love makeup like me. When I used to freelance, I really felt like I needed to go on jobs with every palette, with every product that I needed. I would go with suitcases and by myself, like some of these really big makeup artists, they have assistants. Well, I didn't have an assistant and I did hair at the same time. I would have one huge suitcase of hair equipment and then I would have one huge suitcase of all of my makeup. It was so heavy and I worked in New York and a lot of those subways they don't have escalators, so you have to go up and down the stairs. Every once in a while, somebody nice would come along and say, do you need help? And I'd be like, yeah, yes, please. I was in good shape back then, holy cow. So I'm gonna go into Cozy Gray and taking another smaller brush even, and I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner. Oh, is that satin taupe? Wait a minute. No, I did, I went into satin taupe. Okay, that's okay. This is what happens <laughs> when you need glasses. Oh, these aging eyes. Oh, well, that's okay, it's gonna be pretty. It's a happy accident. Isn't that what Bob Ross used to say? This is gonna look pretty, actually. I love the way anything like this bounces light off of it. It just brings your eyes to life. What I love about MAC shadows is I rarely get fallout. They're buildable, they're workable, they're very user-friendly. All right, and I'm actually gonna bring whatever's left on my brush into here, just so you don't see a stop and a start. My daughter just came to visit me and she's giving the dog trouble. Cause my dog is a thief. She's a kleptomaniac. Like she'll come in any chance she gets to come into this room. She'll search for something to steal. She'll take it back to the couch. Then she'll come back for more. If we can't find something, we know it's her. I'm gonna use this one. I think that's so pretty. That one is Le Artiste. I'm gonna spray my brush with, this is the MAC Fix Plus Alcohol Free. Go into that one and go right there. You don't need much, just a little tap, tap, tap. Do you know what? I kind of feel like doing satin taupe in here as well. I'm gonna do more of a halo eye today. I wanna deepen this outer corner up, so I'm gonna go into, do I want this one or do I want this? No, I think I want this one. I'm gonna use the same brush. Yep, right there. And that is gonna blend right into that satin taupe. And just blending over the edge, if there is an edge. There's not really. I'm gonna go back into wedge on that fluffy brush and pull it up a little bit higher. Because when I look forward, I kind of lose my color and I don't want to bring the satin taupe up higher. So hopefully Wedge will bring that color up so that you can see it when I'm looking forward. I'm not placing this brush in the crease. I'm placing it on my brow bone. And I feel better about that. Now that feels better. 
Okay, good lesson. My favorite pencil brush is the Refer 03. It's so tiny. This is a smudgy look and I want it to stay that way. So I don't want to add a sharp line with an angled brush. I'm going to go back in with the same color that I used on the outer corner and deepen up right around my lash line. Especially because my eyelashes are blonde, really important to get right into the base of the lash. I'm gonna go into this one right here and just go under my brow. Oh, that has a bit of a sheen to it. I didn't know that. I wasn't expecting that. Is that just me? Does it look like there's a sheen to you? All right, let's go into this mango color. When I read that comment about the mango, it made so much sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So what she was saying was the depth of the corrector has to be the same depth of what you're correcting. So the other day I used this one, but that's too light for what I'm covering. And that makes sense. See, so you can already see. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it in with my finger. I feel like when I put my foundation on, it's gonna destroy the whole thing. So I may have to go back in and do this again, but I wanted to test it out without foundation first. With all of my freckles and sun damage, I could go all day doing this. This side's not as bad, but there's that spot. That worked wonderfully. I'm gonna use a different foundation though today. I wanna to use Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. It has an SPF of 19. Why wouldn't they just say 20? I've never seen that before, I don't think. Let's we'll see if it matches. Yeah, I wanted something light. I hope this is okay. This is 3N1. You can see how fluid it is. I'm just gonna tap it on with my fingers for now. See what kind of coverage I can get with this. See if I can get this done without disturbing what I just did. Wouldn't that be great? See, this feels so good. Actually, I had some left over, so I just meshed it into my hand. Did you see my video of me getting my hands filled? When I do this, I can't believe how good that looks. I was so insecure and it's silly, I know, but I've been made fun of a lot with my hands because they were always so much bigger than the rest of the girls when I was growing up. So when she filled it and made it smoother, I was just like, oh, I, I actually like the way they look now. It might sound silly to be self-conscious about something like that, but you know, when you've been picked on about anything, it's really hard to get that out of your head. It was actually criticized on Facebook Maybe it wasn't meant that way, but it definitely felt that way for getting that done. And I just thought, you know, don't judge. You don't know. You don't know the struggles that I've had or, or you know, the comments that have been made to me in my life. Not from family, by the way. My family's wonderful. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think I need to touch this area up again. So I picked up the mini Givenchy Prism Libre. Libra? Libre? It's not Libre. Libra palette? Libra. I'm a Libra. I didn't know what color to get, so I got the two Satin Blanc. Everybody raves about this, and I'm so glad they had it in a mini, because I have other powders. I don't want to spend the money on a big one if I don't know if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> have you ever used one of these? That actually feels good, though. Now, to get this off with my fake nails is gonna be interesting. Actually, that's not bad. It's got a little piece that you can grab onto. That made it really easy. I'm just gonna tap some out into my lid. Oh, I gotta do concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Huda Faux Filter Concealer. This is in Cupcake. And a little bit goes a long way. Feel like I need a little dimension in my face. I'm gonna brighten up right there. Did I pick a color that's too light? Maybe. And then I'm gonna take my finger and mesh it in and pray there. Yeah, I think that looks okay. This lightness is now seen here. You see, so when I take a step back, it all kind of comes together. Giving myself a little bit of a lift there. Fingers are your best friend. I'm gonna contour my nose again. So I'm using the Westman Atelier. I really destroyed the top of this. 
I don't know how I did that. You gotta make sure to roll this down before you put the lid on it. I think that's what I'm doing. So a little bit on my fingers, rubbing it like a little cricket, straight down. Did this the other day and I liked it when I used my fingers. I can feel where the edges are. Sometimes I feel like when I'm using my brush, I'm like getting, I got a shaky hand and I'm getting a wobbly line. I have a lot more control when I use my fingers. Maybe just a little bit here. And oh, I just worked so hard on that area. Careful, careful, careful. I want to use the powder first before my eyebrows because I can see that it's still kind of hydrated in there and I want it to stay. So if I put the powder first, it's going to stay better. Where I see I need it is right in here. I should have put it on the back of my hand. I kind of like this thing. <laughs> Can't wait to look at this back in this light. Looks nice and smooth. So I haven't tried the Benefit Brow Powder. This is Benefit's Goof Proof Powder. Oh, I got it in number 2.5. So we'll see if this is gonna be too warm or too cool. I didn't know that it's got a little design in it. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes my eyebrows, like I know I'm a natural ginger, but I don't want my eyebrows to look red or orange. I'm really enjoying powders lately. I switch it back and forth, but it's so easy. I'm actually rubbing my brush in underneath my hair. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. You know, it's something that doesn't really bother me. If they move, they move, it's hair. I think sometimes it looks funny when they're stuck and glued in place. Plus it makes me itchy. Okay, it's all coming together. I definitely find as I've gotten older, I've had to relax about my makeup application because I can't see very well. I mean, I have my magnifying mirror here, but you know what? If it's not perfect, it's okay. Just have fun with it and don't stress. Try, try not to stress, because it's supposed to be fun. Makeup should be your art therapy. Before I do my mascara, I need something on my lips. Okay, I'm going for it. This is the House Labs Le Monster Lip Crayon, and this is Mahogany Matte. I wore this in my Banana Republic video and everybody was asking me about this lipstick. It is really comfortable and it lasts. I wanna try some new lash curlers. You guys let me know, what is your favorite lash curler? I'm using a waterproof mascara, by the way. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Waterproof Mascara. I'm really liking it. Doesn't irritate my eyes, it holds my curl, and it's easy to get off. Easy to get off is so important to me, otherwise I won't wear it. And I like the brush because it's nice and thin. You'll see when I do my bottom lashes. I think I'm gonna keep my bottom lash line a little bit lighter. Like I'm gonna put something there, but I like how clean this looks. I feel like if I go too smoky under here, it will take the classiness away. It'll look beautiful, but it just gives it a different look. Hopefully I can keep it light-handed. I can be very heavy-handed, not meaning to, of course. I need to tint my eyelashes again. Maybe this weekend I'll do that. Maybe I'll just use Wedge. I want it soft and smudgy, so I'm gonna use a smudge brush and try to keep it nice and clean. It's just creating a shadow, but it doesn't look too makeup-y, if that makes sense. In my opinion, anyway. I always get mascara on the inner rim of my eye. It's because I have to get right to the base of the lashes because I'm so blonde there. I mean, you always should anyways, but if you have blonde eyelashes, make sure you get to the base of your lash. I think that's it. I don't want to use any more. Put in the second coat right on the outer part of the upper. Well, maybe a bit there. Okay. I think I'm going to use butter bronzer. This is the deep bronzer though, but I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. Fluffier the brush, the lighter the deposit. Some of these came through, but that's okay. I know nobody's gonna be looking there anyways. Okay, now for blush. I think I'm gonna use Hibiscus Haze, and I'm gonna use a soft, fluffy brush, and I'm gonna be very careful because this has a lot of pigment, but it's so pretty. 
that's a little, little tap into the product. And I find that these really last. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm not gonna put any shimmer here. I feel like I've got a nice glow and I have enough shine going on on my eyes that sometimes I feel like if you just keep adding, it looks a little much. I do feel like I should outline this a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna use a Bare Minerals lip liner. This is in the color Mindful Mulberry. Tongue twisters, I tell ya. Just wanna see if I can get a sharper line. I think that looks better. I did overdraw a little bit here. I'll see back in the video if it looks silly or not, but right now it looks okay. All right, that's it guys. I hope you like this video. I love this look. I feel so good. It was fun because I'm always doing natural looks and I feel like this still looks classy. The mango from Saint really worked. I'm so glad that that was suggested to me because it completely makes sense. All the products that I used will be listed in the description box and all my socials will be there too. If you don't already, follow me over on Instagram. That would be wonderful. I'm also on Facebook and on TikTok. If you're interested in trying Saint. You can purchase directly through the party link or contact me and I'd love to get to know you and see what would work best for you. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye!